Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is ML7 Gaming, and we are playing some Celasta Crown of the Magister, and I just learned something new. Um, I was going to travel from the Dark Castle to Ker Kiflin, and so I walked off the map, and I hit travel, and uh, I could teleport if I want. Even though we were not at the major gate, we were outside of the castle completely, um, but in the same zone. But apparently, we can just teleport. I like that. That's a nice little quality of life to save you from running all over the place. All right. Hey, he's got something to say for us, to us. Oh, it just takes us to where we want to go. Okay. So, let us... we got a couple things we can do now. Let's take a look here. Let's do Angby's Bones first. Uh, well, we're already... No, that's going to be the next quest. We don't want to do that yet. I know which, that's going to be the... Uh, the Aposty? Ap Aposty? Whatever it is. I can't say that word. You'll just have to... <laughs> Aposty, I guess. Delegate Summer, may we speak with you? Yes. What is it? We have something for you. Or rather, someone. Angby? Angby Cramson! Is that you? Ha! <laughs> it is, or was. Anyway, I'm here. These kind deputies brought my bones back, and my spirit came with them. Thank you, deputies. I am in your debt, and so is the Guild of Antiquarians. On behalf of the Guild, let me offer you something for your trouble. I will make sure you go home to your family for burial, Angby. Thank you, Halman. But before you do, I'd like to make my report. Your report? One advantage of being a ghost is the ability to walk through walls, you see. So, after my death, I was able to conduct a very thorough survey of an Imperial necropolis. I couldn't lift a pen to write it down, so I'll report in person, if that's acceptable. Well, I... Uh, let me take you to the Chancellor. She will want to know. That's right. Where this? Send him off to somebody else. No, I didn't. <laughs> All right, we're up to Brotherhood with the Antiquarians. And we should have some items. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, yeah, the chained mail and the chained shirt. Okay. I'm going to pass that back that direction. Uh, pass that back that direction. Put that up there. Those are arrows. Those go there. Um, so that one's just Antiquarians and Tower of Knowledge. Who did we need to work on? Uh, factions. So Antiquarians were doing okay. Was it the Arcanum that we needed to boost to? To buy, uh, primed weapons? I think it is. Let's wait before we turn anything in so I know where those are going. Alright. Next next bit of our quest. Let's go to this one. Path of Glory. Honorable members of the council, please be seated. The Legacy Council is now in session. Lord Keenmind has the floor. Honorable members of the council, we at the Arcanium have gathered crucial information about this crown. This is indeed the crown of the Magister, belonging to Kaysenax, eternal soul of the Eight Traditions, ninth and last Magister of the Manakellan Arcanium. At the time, there were eight masters of magic, one for each of the old schools. In time of need, each master lent their gem to the Magister, the head of the Arcanium. Placed in the crown, they granted additional powers that enabled the Magister to cast spells or perform rituals of incredible power. 
such as the closing of the rift from Termar. Indeed, now, there is some debate about whether the crown with all its gems could possibly open another rift, or even reopen the previous one. Nonsense. The rift has been closed for a millennium. So Lasta paid a high enough price for that. Have you been to the Badlands recently? Order! Marshal Sunblaze has the floor. For our part, now that the existence of Sora Akath on Celasta has been confirmed, we have gathered proof that they are operating everywhere in the Eastern Kingdoms, including here, in the Principality of Mazgarth. Impossible! The Soraks are looking for the crown and its gems. That cannot be a coincidence. A powerful artifact, certainly. But reopening the rift? It took all the gods of Tirmar to open it. No one knows for sure what the crown can do. It's just a theory. As you know, it protects itself from our divination spells. That is one of its mysterious powers. Then why would the Sorax think they know better? Because they're Sorax. Their foul god, Sortar, knows. He is guiding them. We tried to leave him. And them. Behind on Tirmar. It seems... We failed. Their people, their culture, they must have been obsessing about this for a thousand years. While we spent that time fighting each other, they had to stick together and hide to survive. Fables and conjectures. Perhaps. But can we take the risk? The crown must be secured. The crown belongs to those who found it. Those are the rules. The quest for the gems should be completed. Only this way can we learn more about the crown and its powers. These deputies, well, they're not strong enough. No offense. Tell that to the crown. And they've done well enough so far, wouldn't you say? This is nonsense. Maybe the deputies would like to speak. After all, they are members of the council now, aren't they? Let me let the cat out before I do that. All right, um, give us weapons. <laughs> you know what? Let's ask. You know what? You, you don't ask, you won't get. May we be so bold as to ask you for material support? Weapons, armor, or spells, for instance? Don't overestimate yourselves, deputies. That's right. We can't risk the Sorax overpowering them and taking the crown. Well, you're welcome to provide them with whatever weapons and armors you like, Marshal. We're just trying to increase our chance of success. Yeah, yeah, of course you are. We might have a few spells that can increase your chance of... survival. If that is all, may we conclude? All right. I'd like nice. to say a word, if that is appropriate. Of course, your highness. We're listening. I think our brave deputies shouldn't be, you know, sleeping in a city inn. We have a very comfortable residence near the palace. They would be safer there, don't you think? That would be my, I mean, our part in supporting the quest. <clears throat> your Highness, I must remind you that your decisions as head of state are not subject to council approval. Oh, right. Might I suggest that you reiterate your offer outside these walls? Of course, I beg the council's pardon. Not at all, your highness. Then I think that is all? Thank you. The Legacy Council is now in recess. A word, please, deputies. Of course. Her Royal Highness asked me to reiterate her offer to accommodate you at the palace residence. I'm not sure what that is. A house for plenipotentiaries, emissaries, and other guests of the court. Sounds nice. You don't say. Where is this residence? In the palace. Ask for Ravensworth, a royal butler. He'll show you. <laughs> okay, walk across the back. You too, Captain. <laughs> All right, finally get to talk to the mayor. Uh, 
Okay, let's take a look at our journal now. Okay, so go to Sunblaze Course, speak to Butler Ravensworth, take your quarters at the residence. Okay. We've also got Arwen Merton's story at the Aposti, Treasure Map, Shadow of the Defiler, Heritage of Distrust. Okay, those are both mayor ones. Okay, so we'll go start those and then. <sighs> hmm. Um, I also want to know who I'm supposed to talk to for... Who was it? Let's see if it's him I'm supposed to talk. I'm trying to remember who has the... Ah, damn it. I'm trying not to start these. Clear skies, adventurers. I hate that it forces you to do this. You should be able to just walk along your way. All right. Well, we turned it in. Oh, we don't. We didn't. We don't have to talk to him anymore. I guess that's it. Except we can't. Well, I don't know. Okay. Well, we turned it in. We'll see what happens. <sighs> this is going to kick off the... Yep. I didn't want to talk to him either. Hello, Arwen. Arwen? We're friends now? I'll keep calling you kid, I think. Whatever. We've been to Copran. Ring a bell? You bet. Apparently you are indebted to someone there. An elf ranger. She calls herself Bitterroot. Oh, really? Something to do with her mood, maybe? She said you owe her a child? She's crazy. We just said we'd bring the message. She's still waiting. Yeah, thanks for the message. Maybe you would like to share a story with us? No, I don't. You didn't take her child away from her. You're out of line. I'd step back if I were you. All right, it's none of our business. She gave us this for you. What? I... I don't believe it. She went back for it. Feel more like talking now? Get out! <laughs> Achievement unlocked. The old guard. Alright, now let's see if we can go talk to him. Just want to know who can get us the items we need. As far as primed items, right? Clear skies. Anything new? Uh, see your wares. Alright. So this is who we need. So, Arcanam's who we want. So what do we have that we might be able to use? Well, we'll just, you know what? We'll just talk to him and give him whatever we have. Clear skies, adventurers. Anything new for the Arcanium? Yeah, let's talk business. Possibly. Stay in the light. Okay, that brought us up to sympathy. I don't think that's good enough for most of what we want. I hate that. Just let us talk. You don't have to stand around behind him to talk. We do require. So will he? Oh wait, all of this still requires alliance. Okay, that's fine. Let's head out to uh, here. Talk to Annie. See what's on the board. Uh, 
Uh, we got a few things completed. Oh, yeah, we need that. I don't know how I missed that, but we definitely need that. Uh, I don't know how much food we have, but we can buy some more if we need it. Lots of arrows. There we go. Do you have anything new to say? Clear skies, my friends. Oh, oh nope, nothing new. I guess that's it for us. Stay but it does look like there's a new quest over there. But I'm gonna come over to our chest. I'm gonna dump the rest of our primed magic items in there for the moment, just to clear things out. So. I know, uh, kind of some of this stuff I'm gonna Okay. So let's see what we got here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that no, I don't want to wear it. There we go. Just going to kind of put all this stuff we don't want to lose. Down there. Okay. So those are that. That we can sell. I'll just throw these up here. Some crossbow bolts can go up there. See, those are torpor poisoned. That's basic poisoned. That can be sold. Circle of Danitar. I'm going to give that to him for now. Um, sold. Regent. Sold. Ingredient. We can sell the short sword plus one. So I may as well pass that up. Rapier we don't need. I'm toss these extra arrows over there. Yeah, good enough. All right, anything here... When did we get this? We need a short attunement, plus one all saving throws, plus one to AC, cast a spell magic uh, each. Uh, jeweled ring, sigil ring. Let's go there. That can be sold. Did we just get that? Is that something we got from the... Uh, Hmm. Friends, as you must remember, I asked for your help to cleanse the surroundings. Um, a modest divination. Established at home in the underground tunnels. Maybe we'll draw him out of hiding, though only at night if you open his tomb inside one of the old buildings. Apparently he brought the remnants of his deceased wife and children to rest. There appeared the creature might have a soul after all. Although I understand he sacrificed his family for eternal life. Okay. I grant you this license put it into the very existence of the foulness of my name. Okay, good enough. Send that up there too. That's our spell book. Ingredients. Do I? You know what? For now, just for now, just to make sure we don't accidentally mess something up. I'm gonna put all of the this stuff down here for now. We'll come back in a little bit when we have a better idea of what we're doing or not doing. These are all things we can cast. 
Yes. And we've got some food. I'll toss the food up there. Anybody else have food? Do we actually... A little bit. We could potentially be in trouble if we had to go into a dungeon at this point. I mean, we do have much as spell, but that's all we've got at the moment, so... Might be worth it to have a couple days worth of food. All right. I think that's most everything there. So I'm going to close that for now. Come up here and... I'm just going to sell stuff. I'll be back when I'm done. All right, so I sold most everything. We had a couple more items that we could either give to the antiquarians or to... Brotherhood, maybe? Friends. We gave it to them. That got us to Brotherhood with these guys. So let's see if that changes anything. Might have already been in Brotherhood, to be fair. Um, and we've kind of been through this stuff already. There's a lot of interesting stuff here. Blood Ruby, Oil of Acuteness... Shard of Ice. We could get the Blood Ruby. I don't think we have one right now. Let's remember it's here. We'll put a pin in that one. Huh. Okay. That wouldn't be bad to have either for any of our characters, honestly. Cloak of Elvenkind helps on our stealth. It's expensive. We could give it to our rogue. Need living legends for the uh, cloak of uh, Arach Arachnida, I guess. Circle of blasting. Huh. Cast sparkle at will. Okay. Well, I don't see anything else we, we desperately need here. The only thing potentially would be the, uh, is the Blood Ruby, depending on what we want to, what we want to cast. So let's go talk to the mayor. Lady Brightspark, how may we help you? You could start by not calling me that, as you wish. I have a messy business on my desk, and your name's on it. My name? It's an inheritance, with a bunch of people contesting the will. What? Who died? The Honorable Joan Tannison. Oh. I see. Family. Oh, another background quest. She was my m mentor. A renowned lawyer. You're a lawyer? Do I look like a lawyer? Wouldn't put it past you. What is the mess, exactly? So you told you we made an evil party. To everything. According to the will, her children aren't happy, and the notary is very annoying. So please, do something. Anything. Just make them stop harassing me. I have more important things to deal with. Perhaps I should talk to the children first. Do whatever you want, as long as it shuts this notary up. Right. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> her sleeves do some interesting stuff. I think I have one more quest for her, don't I? And once again, it turns out we live here. All along. Mayor wants you to speak to her. Find her in the plaza. Okay, so we got one more quest for that. That's still we need to talk there. So let's let's try talking to the mayor again. Ah, deputies. Clear skies, Lady Mayor. Well, a renowned mind of Kerr Kiflin has asked to see you. I believe you know him? Galifin Pureheart? Indeed. A very fine mind and a beloved teacher. Well, he's heard about your exploits and would like to talk to you. Gladly. It will be good to see my old teacher. Another background quest? Mm, clear skies. 
All right, so two, two background quests. And we've got this one here. I need to talk to Bradford. Your rooms are ready. You. I know you. What? You are at the embassy. An aide or something? You're mistaken. I'm a council deputy. You can't fool me. I never forget a face. What's going on, friend? Never mind. That same week, the Galavan envoy somehow got hold of our plans for the trade treaty. So my spy well, background? We're guests of the princess. Hey! That was a bad roll. We got lucky. Be careful. They're a powerful family in the Snow Alliance. This isn't over. Now I found you. We'll settle this. So another background. So we got all three of our background quests that we hadn't done yet. Anything we should know? Old story. Look, if this is going to be a problem, we need to fix it together. I agree. All right. Then I'll need to see someone at the Galavan Embassy. All right, so we got all of our old. Now the question is, where do we? Oh. Okay. That's nice. So let's uh let's start casting some rituals here. Chainmail of sturdiness. Glad I didn't buy a cloak of elven kind, huh? I guess this is the stuff that they they offered to support for us, you know. Plus two. Oh. Very nice. And we have cold resistance. All right. So, uh, Cloak of Elvenkind should probably go here. Chainmail of Sturdiness. I don't know that I really have, honestly, anybody that can wear that. What's he wearing? Leather. So he's wearing light armor. He's wearing light armor. I mean... Uh, plus one to AC. No dex bonus. Yeah, I don't think there's much we can do with that, unfortunately. Uh, cold resistance. Well, we may as well give it to somebody. He doesn't have anything yet, so we'll give it to him. Beautiful silver ring. Is that magical? And if so, where did we come up with it? Yes. Yes, it is. And I don't know where it came from. <laughs> I have no idea. I hate the fact that it's sometimes just equip stuff. And you're like, um, yeah, where, where did this happen? Cash shine three times. Okay, well, you know, I'll give you that too. Oh, and we have an encrypted spell book still. Um, that's a circle of damage or thing. Okay, that's fine. So nobody can use that. Really, nobody can use the shield. That doesn't help us much either. Mace plus two. Um, again, I don't... I just don't know that we... It's not all that useful to us. It's nice. I Maybe she could use it? Hold on. It counts as a simple weapon. Does it count as simple or martial?
Not proficient. Budgeting magical melee. Hmm. Simple weapon. We should be proficient in simple weapons, right? No, very specifically, just those. Okay. All right, that's fine. Um, I don't know why I give it to him. He's not going to do anything with it either. We'll just we'll just leave it up there. So shield plus one, another shield plus one, and a mace here. So and chainmail sturdiness. I guess we could sell them all. May as well rest real quick. I hope I gave her that ring. Yes, I did. Okay. Okay, so dex, advantage on dex, stealth checks, disadvantage on wisdom when they try to see. Okay. Uh, and that is something else we can, I guess, sell? That gives us a fair amount of magic stuff that we don't, can't really use at the moment. And that goes to circle? Circle. Okay. Well, how close? Well, but we're about a third of the way to the next level. Oh, can't go that way. All right. It looks like you can, but you can't. Let's turn this into the circle and then we'll call it a day. Looks like we have a quest up here on top of that. Talk to Joriel first. Deputies, do you have? We might. Stay in the light, deputies. Up to alliance, okay. See if there's anything we can't live without. Deputies. Uh. We do require. Leather armor plus two. We have that much money? We do. We got we got a fair amount of money, actually. Hmm. Okay, I've not seen anything we can't live without. Some scrolls. A little bit of armor. But nothing significantly beyond what we have. Now we could sell those for just a little bit more money. And in fact, may as well sell that one too. Could buy a quarter staff plus one since our mage doesn't have a magical weapon at the moment. I don't think it I don't think it's money well spent. All right, let's see what this is. Lyria, I'm so very sorry. Oh, it's the first child. Oh, you're that. Well, I knew she liked you, but frankly, this all seems like a prank. Right? That's what I told the notary. 
Goodbye. <laughs> These people. Okay, well, one child down. And the last place I want to go is the board. And we got to figure out again, like, what type of magic items we might be able to make. Almost here. All right. Collector, scavengers reported the signal of Imperial First Legion has been found on the ruined outpost near Copperan. Return there. Find any item that's been part of the equipment. Uh, one pearl worth 100. A pair of bracers of sparkle. Sure. That one we've got. Runs in the family. Lord Danatar wants you to retrieve an item from the ruins around Andrestis uh, Fortress. Please, one of his ancestors lived there. A pearl worth 100. Three level 5 scrolls. Okay. Recommended 8. And Magister's Amulet. Narcanaeum believes an amulet belonging to Magister may be located inside the Maticon room. He found the crown. Search the tower's library and return the end. Level 6. All right. Well, I think if you happen to watch this, Emiliano, and you made it this far, I think that's enough new stuff for you. <laughs> we have Path to Glory, we've got the Gem Quest, Large Volcano in the Middle of the Badlands, a vision of a force in which lava flows in the midst of its roots, and uh, I guess one of those two is to do that. Uh, and we've got a couple extras here, so hopefully that's enough. We'll see you guys next time. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.